hi and welcome back to my channel Sunshine Lorena. So today's video is going to be the mid-year freakout tag and also a little small life update. Um, I'm going to start with a little life update first of all. Um, so I've only had a couple of videos go up on my channel across like the last two months or so um, but they were pre-recorded at the very beginning of May. Um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, um, I, you know, I lost my father and I, you know, was going through bereavement. Um, so I was dealing with that and wanted some time away from social media and YouTube. But then also um, my husband and I ended up completing on our first property together. So it's, you know, been moving out of a rented accommodation, moving into our new place, trying to sort things, which I'm still trying to sort. Um, this isn't my final bookshelves. I have ordered some and these aren't even all my books. Um, so I still have to organise those. Um, so it has been very busy, very very busy the last um, couple of months um, but I'm in a better place and I'm ready to start filming and making new content. Also you might notice that the the sound quality first of all is much better on my video and also the picture quality and that's because I've just got a new camera um, it's the Sony SV1 and this is the first video I'm making with it so I'm really hoping that this comes out really good and I'm super excited and um, in the UK, I don't know about elsewhere, just so you know, if you were thinking of already buying one of these Sony cameras or there's different products but they have a £100 um, cashback offer on at the moment if it was something that you were looking into. This isn't sponsored, I just thought I'd make you all aware if it was something you were wanting to invest in. But without further ado, let's get into the mid-year freakout tag. And yeah, so this is the first one that I've ever filmed um, for it to go for my channel um, because I hadn't actually started on new, my own booktube channel. Um, this time last year, I only started at the end of July. So this is my first mid-year freakout tag and I'm super excited to do this for you. So uh, question number one, uh, best book you've read so far in 2021? I really hate having to pick only one. Um, I have two and one of them is very very recent but I'll start with my very first one and that is No Exit by Taylor Adams which is a thriller. I read it right at the start of January and it was just perfect. Amazing. I don't very often get five star thrillers. Um, this one completely blew out the water, so many twists and turns, the intensity um, you know, kept going up and up and you think it couldn't get higher and it did. And I have spoken about this on my channel a few times, but if you don't know the premise, it is um, Darcy's driving home, she's going to the hospital to see her mother because she's unwell. And then there's this massive snowstorm, so she has to pull into like a rest stop um, at, to wait out the storm. There are four other people there at the same stop, um, also waiting out the snowstorm. And when she was out checking someone in the car, she spots in a van that there is a child that's locked in a cage, which means that one of the other four people in this rest stop um, it has kidnapped a child um, and is holding them hostage for whatever reason that is. So she needs to try and figure out who it is to get the, the girl out um, and herself out, like safe, alive, etc. And it is just so good. Isolated settings, they're stuck there. It takes place across a whole night. It's amazing. Oh, I loved it so much. Recommend. The second favourite one, like I said, I've recently just finished it, like literally a few days ago, and that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I can't believe I waited so long to read this. Ah, oh, why? Just, it is so good. Like, again, with romances, I enjoy them. I, sometimes I want a fun, like, read, but they're never really five stars for me. But this was five stars. Amazing. Oh, the hate between them, the back and forth. She did such a great job and I can see why it is a booktube favourite and so many people rate it so highly. Um, oh, and I'm so excited because I already knew before picking up the book that they were filming the film and Lucy Hale is playing Lucy in it and she, honestly, after reading the book, she's perfect for it. I'm so excited. 
so yeah, I mean, they're as an enemies to lovers. They work at the same um, farm. Um, they're both like in a book publishing firm and a promotion comes up and they need to like, you know, they both want it and, you know, they've always hated each other since the merger. And it's just a build up of things and I'm not going to seek too much else and it's just perfect. Perfect. If you haven't read it and it's the only romance you can read this year, pick up The Hating Game. Definitely. So number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. So, um, on my shelf right here, I don't know if you can see it, the Santorium. I bought this, what, April? I think it was when I put the book haul up. April, it came out in February. It's a thriller, isolated thriller. We love a good isolated thriller on this channel. Um, and yeah, set in the, the Swiss Alps and it's like the Santorium's been turned into a hotel. Um, main character, she's went for her brother's, like I think it's engagement celebration or something. And the fiance ends up going missing and it's like, you know, some investigation. It, it sounds really good. Um, I just haven't gotten right to picking it up, so that's one. The second one, a new release, let me think, I haven't read yet. Malibu Rising. Um, definitely Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reads. Um, it's in the same world as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it because I know it's, there's, there'll be some like kind of link and crossover with that that book um, and I'd say that's the two releases so far um, that have been released that I am looking really forward um, to reading. Uh, number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I don't really keep up with new releases that much, um, it's kind of things catch my eyes like when other people make um, videos or you see someone's getting released literally that day or something I'll see it and I'm like oh that sounds interesting unless of course it is like a an author that I really enjoy and maybe I'll keep up a little bit more um, but I'd say I know of one that I do want to read and that is You Had Me you know, a lot like Adios um, I read You Had Me at Ola um, back like April time um, it's by Alexa Staria and this is like the second in the series. I don't know if there's some slight crossover characters, etc. But it's, you know, it's romance novels. And yes, I enjoyed You Had Me Ola so much. That gave me like all those telling all of my vibes. And I just love, I, I just loved it. Loved it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's coming out like, I want to see August. It's like late summer, I think. Um, but that's the only one that I'm really aware of that's coming out that I'm excited to read. So then, um, biggest disappointment of the year has to go to, and it's here, Dracula. I was so disappointed by this. I think I gave it two stars or the two and a half stars. I can't remember. Um, I was, yeah, because I want to read more classics this year and this is one that I had on my list of classics to read. And I was like, great, classic gothic horror. You know, I've just started reading horror novels. I'm like, it'd be great like, to read a book that's like inspired so many other people. And yeah, just disappointed. Oh, Dracula. I think one of my main issues is the fact that it's called Dracula. So, you know, you're like, oh, Dracula, main character, right? He's like literally in it for about the first 60, 70 pages, like as an actual character. And then there's like hints of other bits where it could be him. Like, oh, it must be him and very little else the mention mentions of him but he's like no longer an actual character that you see people interact with and have like conversations um that was one of like my biggest issues and also it's like this doesn't look that big but it's like 500 600 pages and he just went on and on and on and ah uh, i'm not gonna speak about it anymore don't want to go on a rant but yeah definitely biggest disappointment for me 100%. So, next question. Number six, biggest surprise. No exit and the hating game. Sorry, it's the same as the first one, but I was surprised by both of those. I weren't expecting them to be five stars. This blew out of the water, and yeah, because for me, usually the ones that I give five star to are literary fiction. Um, but yeah, they just blew out of the water, both of them. Next is seven, favorite new author. Debut or new to you? Um, so I haven't, the new ones that I've read this year, I haven't read anything else by them. So it's kind of 
hard to say if they're definitely going to be a favourite or was it just that book that was so good for me. Um, but I'd have to say Sally Thorne because The Hating Game was just perfect, amazing. I have have heard that her second one, 99% mine, it's not that great, but then she's had a new release, um, second, uh, second first impressions, I think. Um, and I've heard good things about it. So yes, she's one that I want to kind of read a little bit more of and see, you know, if she's an author that I really kind of enjoy reading. The other one I'd say is here, I'm not gonna pull it out because like it's a big stack here is um, S.V. Leonard who wrote The Islanders. It's a debut for her this year. Um, that's a murder mystery based on Agatha Christie's kind of And There Were None. I've never read And There Were None. Um, but this is Love Island but with a murder mystery and it was just, it was so good. And she is writing a second book. I don't know what the premise is because I do have her on Instagram but she is writing a second novel and I think she just sent it to her editor so like for the first draft. So she is going to be releasing more stuff. So whenever that is, I'm definitely going to pick it up because I really enjoyed that murder mystery. Um, so And I recommend if you want a murder mystery that's set on like a Love Island type show. Honestly, amazing. I don't know why anyone else hadn't thought of that before. Um, then, Number eight now, yeah, uh, newest fictional crush. I don't get crushes on fictional characters. Um, no, I don't. I'm just trying to think, what have I read this year? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna say there isn't one. Like, I like characters with the way they are, but I don't have crushes on them. So that's a no for me. Um, seven newest favorite character. I think Darcy from No Exit, definitely. I mean, if I was going to be kidnapped, I'd want her to stumble upon that and, you know, help me. Definitely, 100%. Um, she's fierce. She's amazing. Definitely. Darcy. And then, who else do I like? From books I've read this year. Right now, Darcy's the only one that really, really stands out to me. Oh, I read The Stand in April. Um... I thought Fanny was a really good character in that. I really liked her. Um, again, you know, she's strong. She's fierce. She did what, you know, she needed to do. She did well in that. I think those are the only two that I can think of right now um, that have, like, really new characters that really stood out to me. Um, ten, a book that made you cry. I haven't read any sad books this year. No, I read a lot more romances than I usually would. I've read a few thrillers, but they're not like, you know, they're never written in a way that's going to make me cry. Um, I read a, yeah. I've not read any really sad books and I'm not going to be reading any anytime soon either because it's just not the right moment for me. Um, number 11, a book that made you happy. You had met Ola. That, you know, that brought a smile to me, made me happy, the telenovela vibes, you know, yeah, I really enjoyed reading that. It just it brought me a little bit of joy, the hating game, um, because, well, I really enjoyed it, but also I really had, I haven't been reading much over the last couple of months. And then I feel like that book, the hating game, is just kickstarting me out of my reading slump because I was slumping and it just like pulled me out um, It made me happy. That, that romance made me really happy, yeah. Um, 12, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? So, um, I really like that I bought this, Grown by Tiffany G. Jackson. Um, I really like this cover. Um, I think it's stunning. Um, also, I like the fact that it doesn't really give you anything away of what the book is. Quite like that's a mystery other one which my friends got me another copy of the alchemist i have a lot i don't know if you can see them all but they got me another copy and it's a completely different edition from any of the other ones i have and i also think this is a really beautiful cover and in general the alchemists the books have like great covers i don't know if you can see that there so yes those two i'd say are my most beautiful of this year i wouldn't say the most beautiful of my shelf but Yes, most beautiful of this year. Um, 13, last question. So what books do you need to read by the end of the year? All of the books. Um, I've got a long list of ones that I want to get to. 
I have started the year I'd set myself up to read 10 classics. Um, I haven't read any in the last few months, I'm a little bit behind. So one of those is Rebecca, which is here, and I've done Quixote and Anna Karenina as well. But I need to read off of that list, plus some others, but those are like probably like the next three that I'm going to prioritise. Well, um, the Santorium, I really want to get to that. Um, I do have It Here by Stephen King. Um, I think I'm going to try and get to that this year as well. Um, I want to try and attempt and finally pick up the, the Girl of the Dragon tattoo. I have attempted it before but it wasn't the right moment and I've never got right, round to it again. Uh, and of course the last one and the Napolitan novels, my brilliant friend, the story of the lost child. Definitely that's priority like in the next month I think I'm going to read that one. But yeah I know there's a lot of books that I want to read. Also such a fun age. I really want to try and pick up some Agatha Christie this year as well and yeah just so many books so many so many but if you have any recommendations for other books please let me know because I'm always on the lookout for new books to buy and then potentially read at some point <laughs> but yes that's it that's it that's all the questions in the mid-year freakout tag and it's really good to kind of see where I'm at this so far this year. I am ahead of my reading goal despite slumping, but the other little bits, like I said, I've not. I'm behind on the reading the ten classics. I'm behind on reading twenty Rory Gilmore books for the year. Um, I want to read five Stephen Kings, and actually I'm doing okay on that one, I'd say. But yeah, just not perfect. But it doesn't really matter. Read one book or a hundred books. As long as you read something and you enjoy it quality over quantity and that's it for me and i should be having some other videos coming up very soon for you guys comment like subscribe and yeah thank you very much and i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye